Welcome back, my name is Final Piku. The game is Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Last time I finally conquered this. Took me an hour to do it, but uh. We uh. We don't talk about that. And, uh, now that that is taken. Oops, taken care of. There's. Other stuff to do out here in the Coral region. Oh, but I should be gliding. Oops. Oh well. My brain is on Monster Hunter World mode. Press an R1 to run when it should be R2 and it's a mess, it's a mess. right here. No climbing required. Pressing R1 to run when it should be all R2. Like a dweeb. Anything interesting up here? Oops. It's tall enough to. And the terminal being down here makes me think that there is something up there. Probably wrong, but uh, I want to check just to make sure. Well, I see it's just over yonder. There's just two more boxes. Disappointing! Oh, well. Oh, I see some crystal marker. You see them everywhere. Square, triangle, square, triangle, square, circle, square, circle, that's kind of hard. I did it. My man. 
managed to extract the necessary data from the crystal. This should allow me to strengthen your materia. Yeah, when I eventually get it. Which uh, may not be for a while. Mean two seems to be up there. Planet Splendor. Like I can uh, get through over yonder. Dangerous fiends may be in the vicinity. Exercise caution. Rare ski ski variant detected. Commencing guidance protocol. The shimmering golden plumage of this variant was once so coveted that they were hunted to the brink of extinction. Not that black market dealers cared. Given this tragic, bloody history, one can hardly fault these ski skis for their highly aggressive behavior when one of their own is taken from them. Loath though I am to subject them to further trauma, I'm afraid this is the only way that we might learn more about them. Please try to be as gentle as you can. Gentle, huh? Currently gathering combat data on target. No weaknesses, no resistances. Banning fury, vulnerable pressure. All right, that was just barely in the time limit. I knew you had it in you. Way to go. This isn't so bad. Hmm, where to next? I suppose making my way to this tower. I hope you smell something.
Cosmetite ore. Smell something. Should I have stopped? No, probably not. But... Another chunk of Cosmetite. Brain. We're gonna have to discuss putting Maltron on AAS again. I feel like there's a way I could be going faster, but oh well. Damn! I was trying to land on the scaffolding. Get off the choke, go. Get off the choke. My brain has definitely been polluted. Proto relic of this region. Being in Intel's probably way up there. Number seven.
And it's Mercy. I don't know where I'm going exactly, but uh, it's all the spirit of exploration. Oops, Spring Seeker. Luster Cave Life Spring. ship you say different weather little ship then because there was a weather old ship by that fiend intel we did earlier with the golden ski skis Commander's Bracer and Spirit Bound Darmlet. Healing Carcanet. Nothing else. Should probably clear these things out. Right behind the cactus. A remedy. And that's everything. Brain, please. To this tower, and then maybe head on to the MSQ. Perfect. 
perfect landing. Ex excuse me, e everyone, please. time 20 minutes all right let's mosey back onto the MSQ I probably should be fighting more monsters than I am. I've been meaning to ask you something. You said old Sephiroth's come back from the dead, right? And that that's a bad thing. So, what I want to know is, how do you do it? And what's the matter? He wants to save the planet. But, wouldn't that make him a good guy? It's not what he's doing, but how. He doesn't give a shit if everyone dies in the process. Sounds like a total nutter. I mean... There's not much point in having a planet if there's no one left to enjoy it, is there? That said, let's not forget that we still got a whole nother problem. One that's reared its ugly head time and time. A bunch of assholes who won't stop until they get the planet dry. Send them. To hit them where it hurts, we'll need to leverage those connections of yours. But if you even think about stabbing us in the back, I'm gonna hug and squeeze you to death. You hear me? I do quite enjoy that these things cast reserve on you at the start. Makes limit breaking really easy. Okay. Sorry, but I got that. Nothing to it. Guys are all we do and nice. Not bad. Thank <laughs> you. 
There. A sacred sanctuary where the planet's greatest minds gather. It's beautiful. More than I ever imagined. Come on, let's pick up the pace. I can hear it calling my name. Yeah, me too. Wonder what got hmm. I'm surprised Barrett likes it so much. Ship dropped these on us this morning. Wanted posters of the terrorists who bombed those reactors. Hmm. Huh. But I think we can say you had nothing to do with all that. Even if Nanaki hadn't vouched for you, it's obvious. <sighs> Welcome to the sanctum of planetology. Cosmo Canyon. Fast travel's unavailable, huh? Thanks for keeping watch over the veil. My pleasure. Are you about to head out on patrol? Can you believe New Queen's blood players are about? Uh, good job. be that way for a reason. Gotta keep on our toes. Yeah, it's a very important reason. Certain employee at Shinra might have something to do with it. Mercy. Or venison. There's Chadley. The Cosmo Canyon Cloud, a long standing dream of mine, has finally come true. Planetology rejects our mock of consuming society, insisting that we have much to learn about this world. And now, we have the opportunity to share in their planetary knowledge. Needless to say, many hazards await you on the road, so take care. Bonds of trust. Already right, taking care of that. Queen's blood. Holly Holly Oxen free. Mm -hmm. 
Now it goes back in the direction of the main story quest. Ah, the elevator's undergoing maintenance, huh? Truly, truly tragic. Ah, Queen's Blood. Is that SSL? Used to be a soldier. Lots of hand signals. That's how Shinra Sign Language came to be a thing. I know the basics. Queen's Blood, huh? Oh, that's pretty cool. Let's see. Jerk. Excellent. That's closer than I would have liked. Well, we pulled it out in the end. That's a good fight, though. Hang on. Are you ex-military? Solid idea. Good luck with that. Congratulations! You have attained the rank of Blood Captain. As such, allow me to brief you on another promising player. An advanced Queen's Blood AI named Wise can be found in the Dust Bowl. I suspect it might prove a worthy opponent. The Dust Bowl, you say? Fascinating. The Starlit Night is yours. Let's get her MP back real quick. Oh, piano. Two legs, none do it.
Oops. That is quite difficult. I wonder. Okay, that was a lot better. I don't know if that's in the end, not quite an A. Yeah, this is tough.
I was, I don't know what I was doing there. I was doing really well at the beginning and then I just kind of tripped and never recovered. Brian, what are you doing? We can do that part, remember? Man, I feel like there are these certain parts where if I mess up there and I just don't recover. Oh, just a B on the very cusp of getting this song, I think.
Come on, man. That was so close, and then I just kind of fumbled the ball. <laughs> I messed that up again. Brain, what are you doing? That's the wrong analog stick. It doesn't help with my cat being needy. Wait a second, that's... what am I doing?
and then the dog starts barking. That was a little bit better. Still not great though. Wait, that was an A rank. I'm free! There's no finer sound in all the world than the voice of a humble piano. Mellifluous melodies are all the more pleasing when played on the piano. Thank you for sharing such joy with the world. I hope you will enchant us with even more splendid performances in time. Yes, in time, in time. But for now, we're hitting the hour mark. And uh, next episode, we will be going to check up on Red 13, see what he's up to. But until then, run like, comment, subscribe, bring the new villain if you be so kind. Get off my lawn, you filthy casuals.